Bam, 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 bam. Part four. Give him a wave. Give it a... Oh, I like that. I like <laughs> that very much. Features of wave and some properties. Some. Mostly. C well, come on. They're All right, we need more energy yeah. in this. Come energy. on, you're doing physics revision. You love physics time. revision. I love physics. Right, let's go with some kicking off with some progressive waves. Progression. Or just waves, do you and me? Progressive. Yes, there are two types of waves, longitudinal and transverse. Longitudinal waves are waves which are... Uh, in which the direction of vibration of the particles is parallel to the direction of which the wave travels. Examples are sound, primary, seismic waves and slinkies. slinkies. We love slinkies. slinkies. This leaves you with compressions and refraction. Rare fractions. Rare refractions. Rare ref oh, okay. Fractions, something like that. As particles move forwards and backwards. Transverse waves are waves Whoa. in which the direction of the vibration is perpendicular to the direction in which the wave travels. Examples are electromagnetic waves, secondary seismic waves, and waves on a string. Da, 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 okay. Key terms, Mr. Connor Durkin, thank you very much. You're welcome. The displacement of vibrating particle is the distance and direction from its equilibrium position. The amplitude is the maximum displacement of the vibrating particle. The wavelength is the least distance between two adjacent vibrating particles with the same displacement and velocity i.e. trough to trough or peak to peak on a little wave. One complete cycle from the maximum is from the maximum displacement to the next maximum displacement. Indeed. The period of the wave is the time taken for one complete wave to pass a fixed point. Whoa. Found by, by one, one over the frequency. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, the frequency of the wave is the number of cycles of vibration of a particle per second or just the number of complete waves passing a point per second. It's all very basic stuff. The unit, Connor? Is hurts, as in it hurts Have your you brain. Ha oh yeah, okay. You, you, you <laughs> stole, stole the my joke. thunder yes. there. Nah. The wave speed can be found by multiplying the frequency by the wavelength. C equals F times lambda. Yay! Lambda. Transverse waves can be polarized according to the different Not planes like they are in. A wave is plane polarized if the vibrations stay in one plane only. Indeed, like like a big. Plane. Yeah, and if the vibrations change from one plane to another, they are unpolarized. I want you to think about Polaroids, lenses that only let select planes of light through, is to imagine them as lenses with slits in one direction. Not one direction, please no. This will only let the light vibrating in that direction through, similar to the way a red looking object has absorbed all the light but red, which has been reflective, kind of re emitted, whatever. This is why if you get two Polaroid lenses and place them at perpendicular angles, so at 90 degrees to each other, no light will get through both, because the light that would have got through the first Polaroid cannot get through the second because it's in a different plane. Yeah, if you think of a, a vertical component getting through the first yep. plane, if the second Polaroid is uh, perpendicular, then it will only let horizontal, if you like, light through, and boom, you have a little barrier there. And there's no horizontal light in the first one. Yeah, interestingly, and arguably confusingly, if the two Polaroid lenses are at any other angle other than perpendicular, some light gets through. This is because of some magic. magic. This is just because the light that got through the first Polaroid now has a component that will go through the second Polaroid. What? If you separate the, um, yeah, if you separate it into its... Componentliness. Um, components from the, it's the same as resultant forces as in the other videos. But if they're at 90 degrees, then there is no vertical component. Um, and so no light can get through. Yeah, because the angle is zero degrees. Yes, so you can't have confusing. F cos... Yeah. I can try. Okay, right. Uh, it's very confusing. Yeah, interesting that, and arguably confusing. Well, very arguably confusing. Arguable. Now, everyone hates phase difference, and I have no idea why, because it's quite simple, if you think about it. It is. Uh, so, prepare to think. Oh, hang on. Connor Durkin, please, with phase difference. Uh, phase difference between... Two vibrating particles is the fraction of a cycle between the vibrations of the two particles, measured in degrees or radians, bit of ace level mass there, where one cycle is 360 degrees or two pi radians. A handy formula uh, is for two points at distance d apart along the wave of a wavelength lambda, the phase difference in radians is just two pi d over all the wavelength. That's so simple. Why didn't I think of it that before? It looks much simpler, doesn't it, Connor? It from, does. Yeah. It does okay. indeed. Another idea is that where the, where the points are likely to go next, they might ask you, P is on this wave. Where is it going next? Uh, it's going up and down. Well, just remember that if the wave is transverse, the points are fixed moving up and down. Oh, yes, got it right. So imagine it as a levitating badger on a hill. With the hill, animation there, Will. With the hill moving and the, the badger staying badger, in the badger, same badger, place. Badger, 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 and you can quickly see where he will go. Or she, we're not sexist here. Yes, or both. 
Ah, uh, you know, right. little thing. Brighton has uh. just spent £10 million redoing public toilets for transgender people. It's obviously all equal opportunities uh. in that. With a longitudinal wave, it's best to look at our awesome animation again. Particles in compressions will move forwards or right, and particles in rarefactions will move backwards or to the left. Pictures don't lie, apart from this one. This That's one. Big lie. Yes. Lie, lie, lie. That's what makes you beautiful. No, I said no one direction. Superposition, similar to phase difference, is when the two waves combine, when they pass through each other. Form a mega wave. Or if you want to be posh, the principle of superposition states that when two waves meet, the total displacement at a point is equal to the sum of the individual displacements at that point. If the waves are completely in phase, you get reinforcement. When they have completed out of phase, or 180 degrees, you get cancellation. Wait, 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 wait. In the script, I forgot to close the quote. So the quote ended ages ago. You can ah. stop talking in a posh voice. Further examples of superposition is evident in stationary waves. Stationary? What does that mean, Will? Does it mean pencils and pens? No, that was a nice transition. You see what <laughs> I did there? A station. <laughs> A stationary wave is a feature of superposition when two progressive waves combine to create a wave that appears to not move in relation to the environment. So it's stationary, can't Yep. The two waves combine a fixed point called nodes. No. As each node, uh, as each node, the two sets of waves are always 180 degrees out of phase, so they cancel each other out. A stationary wave can be thought of in terms as loops, as each loop is an oscillation up and down in a fixed point. With the middle being the anti nodes. So you might see it as a wave with like dotted lines making them loops. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. The simplest stationary wave pattern is the fundamental mode of vibration. A single loop with a node at either end and the anti node in the middle. The anti node is a bit that moves, remember. The distance between the nodes must be half a wavelength because you can think of the loop as half of one whole wavelength. The next stationary wave pattern is known as the first overtone, where there are two loops, then the second overtone has three loops, and so on. And so forth. The only other thing is that is what the wave will look like at different stages of its cycle. At a quarter of the cycle, there is nothing because the two waves have destructively interfered and cancelled. At half cycle, loops are the reverse of the start, so they're sort of upside down if you think about it, or like a mirror line along the middle. Uh, then three quarters again, cancellation, and one cycle later, back to the beginning. When you superimpose these stages on top of one another, you can see the loops. It's pretty loopy. Ah, oh, wow. I love that superimposed image, Carl. Yes, it is. It's very... Loopy. It's very... Oh, wow. Is that it? Is that it? Pa far, pa far, pa... Oh, wow. Part, Part four. Part four uh, waves. Yes. Bye. That is... Yeah, okay. Thank we, you. We, we Thank you for up. listening. That it is as simple as we have just made it out. We are literally putting everything in. Add a little bit more. Yes. We're putting extra in. You should feel lucky. Mm. You're welcome. You're privileged. Can I? Yeah, okay. Can I, no, I just want to point out, as a little side note at the end of this video, that every time Connor says something to you, he makes the face. And it's hilarious. I wish we were doing a video. You make a face. Yes. <laughs> bye. And bye, Connor's mother. Uh...